Welcome to the 47th annual International Trombone Festival and welcome to sunny Southern California. This year we're here at the University of Redlands for a jam-packed few days of concerts, clinics and showcases from over a hundred artists, presenters and ensembles from all over the world. So I've managed to catch up with this year's host, Andrew Glendening. Congratulations on such a fantastic festival. How do you think it's all going so far? Uh, thank you very much. I, I think it's gone really well. Uh, we had a lot of high expectations and I think we've met most of them. So people seem to be having a good experience. And uh, it's the first time the ITF has come to the west coast of America. Um, why do you think that's a good idea? It must be quite an exciting thing for you. Well, we're very proud of the University of Redlands and the town of Redlands. It's a beautiful city. It's an old city. It's very comfortable, welcoming, safe city with great architecture and a lot of history. And so we've really enjoyed sharing that with the Tremont Association. To me, there's just a huge amount of diversity here. The ITF has been moving in that direction and we really want to address everyone's favorite style of music and all of the things that the trombone does all over the world and all different styles. And I think this festival has been a really good uh, stepping off point for that goal and we're working towards continuing that in the future. I know that there's just an amazing variety of things. You can go from one building to the next and over here you're hearing, you know, John Kenny play, you know, on contrabass trombone and over here you're hearing Mick Mulcahy play, you know, a, 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 a beautiful sonata and over here you're hearing the best uh, studio musicians from Los Angeles. During the International Trombone Festival, artists from all over the world come together in one place to perform and inspire. They do clinics, masterclasses and recitals to share their wealth of knowledge. Let's find some of these artists and see what they think about their ITF experience. The Trombone Festival is all about bringing musicians together, different trombonists, uh, bass trombonists, tenor trombonists, alto trombonists, jazz, classical, funk, contemporary, uh, all sorts of ages uh, and styles to come together, collaborate, meet each other and get inspired. You can meet people, the people you listen to, um, and recordings that you that are just a name to you. You can actually talk to them here. You can hear them live. You can get ideas from them. One of my students um, saw somebody he really admired, asked him if he could take a lesson, and the guy was like, sure. One very important aspect to each year's festival is the fact that all the instrument companies are here to show their trombones and accessories. And people can try out all the latest designs and equipment all in one place. That's very unique. I'm now off to meet some of them to ask about their experiences. The exhibition hall is really important. It serves a huge role in everything that we do. Um, so it just gives you a chance to test everything out and try everything out next to each other. And that just doesn't happen anywhere else in the world. Um, so it's huge and it's very important within the grand scope of uh, the Tremont Festival. I also like to say I'm very humbled and honored to have received this award from the ITF this year. It's the ITA Super Supporter Award and it's been a very humbling experience and I'm very grateful for it. 
Coming to the ITF for uh, somebody like myself as a craftsman gives us a really good opportunity to, to visit with a wide spectrum of musicians and kind of learn what's current today. So coming to the International Trombone Festival allows us to make sure we've got our, a finger on the pulse of the, the trombone industry and, and understand what's, what's connecting with the musicians. And, and I'm particularly thrilled to, to be at ITF because I'm a trombone player as well. So get to, to see a lot of old friends and, and uh, try out the different instruments. Pretty much a trombone heaven nerd fest and uh, really happy to be involved with that. Well, for me, it's a great opportunity to come to ITF in America because I'm from Germany. It's a long way down here and uh, it's great to see and hear all of those people here and to see actually all the other factories as well and to be in California. The West Coast musicians that are here hear their sound in person, to hear the way that it travels in the room, to hear the articulation of it, to hear the way that they phrase in person, to hear Europeans phrasing. Uh, it's just, it's a wonderful meeting of musical minds and one that's unmatched in any other event I've attended. <laughs> I'm standing here now with Christopher Bill outside the building where all the junior ITF classes have been taking place and tell us why it's important for students to come to the ITF workshop. So uh, it's important if you are a beginner to establish these fundamentals from people who really know what they're talking about. It's important for intermediate people to uh, really learn to love the instrument and learn to love to play it. And then uh, for advanced people to be challenged much more than you would be in your school programs. This year uh, we had Joe Alessi, principal of the New York Philharmonic. He worked just with the uh, ITF workshop, just with the kids. Uh, he did some uh, master classes, a little performance, and uh, it was a really great time. I could talk all day about this, but I feel like we should hear from some of the kids. What is your favorite part of the festival so far? Um, I definitely have to say all the amazing trombonists that they bring in, getting to work with them and see their workshops and their recitals has been really inspirational and amazing to see. Joey Pinzone, he's one of our younger junior members. Uh, tell me about what you've been up to this week. Well, I've uh, met a lot of uh, the world's greatest trombonists. I've been uh, learning a lot and listening to some great trombone music. And you meet a lot of uh, other trombonists your age. It's nice to meet other people who have the same interests or are the same age. Uh, you usually don't have access to that kind of uh, resource. So I had a warm up today with uh, Alex Isles and uh, that was pretty good. He helped us with our breathing and stuff like that and some more um, enhancement in how to practice and stuff. Uh, yeah, I definitely recommend coming here next year and years after. Thank you. That was not scripted at all. So it's always very exciting to find out where the next ITF is going to be held. And we're very pleased to announce that next year's International Trombone Festival is going to be held in Iowa. And I'm here now with Jonathan Allen, next year's festival host. Congratulations, Jonathan, you must be thrilled. Thank you, we're really excited to host the International Trombone Festival at the University of Iowa to showcase the wonderful musicians in the region as well as this amazing facility that we have. And can you tell us a bit more about Iowa and why an ITF should be held there? The University of Iowa has a really long history um, in the American band tradition, music tradition, and especially the trombone studio has been successful for a really long time. There are a lot of professional musicians and college professors that came from the University of Iowa, and we're excited to showcase them and also some of our new facilities as well. Fantastic. Tell us more about the facilities as well. Sure. Uh, about nine years ago, the School of Music was flooded uh, with a major flood. And just last August, we finally opened a brand new $150 million facility. It's really world class and um, top notch um, technology in every single way. And we're really excited to see what artists and musicians are going to do in these spaces. 
Fantastic. And now this year's logo is all about the orange and the orange groves in Southern California. So tell us a bit about your logo. The logo is, um, it's an ear of corn. So Iowa is in America's Midwest, and our largest export is corn. And it's not just uh, corn that you eat, but it's also, the biggest part is corn ethanol, which is a major um, form of energy that we use in the United States. Wow, that's, that's unique. So, uh, and tell us what sort of things we're going to expect for next year's festival. We're going to have uh, many people who have never performed at an international trombone festival, like Peter Moore of the London Symphony, um, as well as returning artists like uh, Paul Pollard and Josh Bynum, who are University of Iowa graduates. We're also featuring some international stars like um, the Hungarian Trombone Connection and the Corpus Quartet, as well as Marshall Jilks and uh, Mike Deese, who are American. So we're excited for the wide range of artists and, again, to see what they're going to do in these incredible spaces. Well, I'm very excited as well. I'm really looking forward to it. Congratulations again. Thank you so much. We're excited. Well, it's been a fabulous festival here in Redlands, exhausting but so much fun. Be sure to check out the website and all our social media channels for announcements and information about next year's festival. And don't forget to save the dates July 11th to 14th at the University of Iowa. Thanks for watching.